Hey everybody, welcome to that vinyl channel. I'm that vinyl guy, Boz. Uh, we're back again for another Mondays on my turntable. I do have an update. Let me see if I can. Oh, here it is. Have an update from the last uh, Mondays on my turntable that I did. That I did. So I had an issue with this record here. This was uh, uh, Rod Stewart's "The Tears of Hercules." So uh, I got this a couple weeks ago, and I played it last week and showed, and, and showed it on my channel. And uh, it. Uh, it this record was pressed off center on this on the second side, uh, starting about halfway through the record. Uh, it, it was definitely audible. So um, a lot of people on Amazon uh, where I bought this in the comments, I said that um, they had replaced theirs and the replacement was fine. So I did the same thing. Uh, I sent I sent it back to Amazon and they sent me this copy here and uh, I just played it and it sounds great. So no more problems with the pressed off center and I, and I did want to go ahead and give you an update. Okay, and uh, here are the records that I pulled out this morning that I'm going to play. Uh, so um, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the records that I actually got in the mail in the last week. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the covers to all, uh, all, all the records I just showed you. And that way you know what I'm playing today. Okay, and here we have all the records over here. Uh, these are the ones that came in the mail recently, and over here are the ones I plan on playing today. So let's go ahead and get first to uh, the ones that uh, came in the mail. So the first one here is a test pressing. This is for Blues Travelers, Save His Soul. So uh, this, this album actually originally came out in 1993, but it wasn't issued on vinyl until 2015. So this is uh, the 2015 issue, but it was uh, this is a test pressing for it. So it's a double LP. So on the inside they have, this is side A and B, inside C and D over here. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, it's a test pressing, very, very cool. Okay, and the next record here is one that I just got from Walmart. Actually got it um, a couple weeks ago, actually. So it came in the previous week, but um, this is Darius Rucker, uh, number one, num uh, number ones, uh, so volume one. So this has uh, all the hits for Darius Rucker. Uh, if, uh, if you're not sure who he is, he, he was the lead singer on Hootie and the Blowfish, but these are his uh, solo songs. Okay, and this is one that I had pre-ordered uh, a couple months ago. It just came in. Uh, this is uh, the soundtrack to Bloodsport, uh, which is a movie that came out in the 90s with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Very good, but break, not hit back. The vinyl, the vinyl um, soundtrack has been very hard to find. If you went out right now and tried to find the original soundtrack, you might be able to find a copy or two on Discogs or eBay, but it's very expensive. So it was nice for uh, Waxwork to uh, to come out with a, uh, a a reissue of this. But yeah, so this was issued on um, looks like. I believe on uh, colored uh, vinyl, I think it's uh, one white and one red, I believe, is how they issued this. But I really like the movie Bloodsport. It's one of my uh, all-time favorite movies, and, and I was very excited when Waxwork uh, said that they were going to go ahead and uh, put this out. So uh, I definitely had to put, a, put in a pre-order for it. And last but not least is uh, this one, actually, I had went down and got from a local record, uh, record store uh, last week. So this is Utopia. Uh, another live. Uh, this is a live concert, I believe, from 1975. Is that right? Recorded live August 1975. This is a Rhino pressing, and it's a direct metal master. So very cool. I definitely have gotten into Utopia in the last few years. I really like them a lot, and, uh, and this will be my first live album. Okay, now we're going to get into the actual records I'm playing today. So this year is actually given to me by a neighbor. Gave it to me last week. This is a, a very cool pressing. This is from 1959. This is Jad Paul's ban Banjo Magic, 12th Street Rag. This is uh, basically, it's, um, it's Dixieland jazz type stuff. It's very cool. Uh, if you see here, it says it's, it's on Liberty Stereo. Now what's very cool about this is that in 1959, Stereo was still a new technology. Uh, the majority of the records being pressed were still mono because uh, a lot of people still hadn't uh, traded in their their existing uh, working mono record players for stereo record players. So they were only issuing a very small amount of records in stereo at this time. So it's very cool 
to get a stereo to get a stereo pressing of this. And the next is a little novelty one that I got off eBay. I'm big into novelty records. This is just a bunch of breakout uh, breakout songs. Uh, so um, uh, very cool stuff. It's a uh, it's a bootleg. Uh, what a breakout song is basically when uh, like a DJ is giving an interview and they break in with uh, uh, parts of songs to answer the question. Kind of like the Flying Saucer with uh, Bill Buchanan and Dickie Goodman. So uh, this is a, a an LP and it has a bunch of these uh, breakout songs. They're very cool. The next one here is uh, Lover Boy, Loving Every Minute of It. I really like this album a lot. This album originally came out in 1985. It uh, went double platinum. Uh, this is actually a Colombian uh, pressing of the record. It was issued on um, blue vinyl. Let me go ahead and uh, show you what that blue vinyl looks like. It looks really, really, really cool. So very cool stuff. Um, I just wanted to hear this, so I took it out and uh, I'm going to play it today. And here we have a Japanese uh, copy of Chicago 17. I'm a big fan of Chicago. I really like them a lot. So uh, this uh, Chicago album was released in 1984. So I haven't heard it in a while, so I figured I'd take it out and play it. Uh, this is Dr. John Voodoo Hex. So Dr. John is a... Um, his music is, is kind of like rock-infused uh, New Orleans blues, soul, and jazz. A little bit of, uh, of R&B as well. So his, his music is definitely unique sounding. I really like him a lot. Uh, this uh, particular album here is actually an anthology of, of a bunch of his work from the 1960s and 1970s. Uh, it was issued uh, in this amazing, amazing splatter vinyl. Let me go ahead and uh, show you uh, what this looks like. Okay, so this is uh, the Del Fuegos Stand Up. This is a band that, that, that did not release very many albums. They were from Boston. Uh, they're considered garage rock. Their style is kind of unique. It's a little bit of almost like a ZZ Top. They're not as hard as ZZ Top is though, but I like their stuff. And uh, this album was uh, actually released in 1987. And last but not least, here's a copy of Sticks Caught in the Act that um, that I got. I actually ordered this and it came in from Korea. This is a South Korean pressing. I like to get different pressings of Sticks records. So what's very, very cool about this one is that normally Sticks Caught in the Act is a 2LP okay, set uh, that has two LPs and it has a bunch of their live songs. Now this uh, record has only one LP. Now I thought maybe it might have been issued in two separate LPs and you had to buy both LPs to get the entire set. But if you look at the track listing here, the track listing inside one and side two has um, actually select tracks from all four sides of the album or from many sides of the album. So this definitely was not meant to be uh, put out as a double LP. It was meant to be put out as a single LP and they just chose uh, the song that, that they wanted to put on it. The label on this is very cool. Uh, it was uh, issued on this black and silver type uh, label. But those of you who visit my channel often probably already know that I'm a big Sticks fan and I do enjoy getting uh, the different versions of the albums from different countries. So I was very excited to go ahead and get this one. Okay, and that's it. I do want to thank you for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is a great time to do so. It just takes a second. Just go ahead and tap on that uh, subscribe button and be sure to bash on that uh, bell for notifications. And that way you know I put, uh, well, when I put up uh, brand new videos, just like this video right here. So again, I want to thank you and uh, I'll see you all next time.